from solution chapter. Today's important questions are starts from molarity, molality and normality. Problems related questions and how to solve. Let us go and see the methods of solving problems. Yes, first and foremost, I have given all the formulas and related sums. Let us watch. Okay, what is the molarity of the solution obtained by solving 3.42 gram of sucrose C12H22O11 in 100 centimeter cube of the solution. Okay, now we have to find out the molarity. So, molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. So, that is the formula. So, number of moles, number of moles of solute, solute divided by volume of solution, volume of solution in liter. So, in this way, let us go on, number of moles, let us find out. So, number of moles equal to given mass by, given mass by molecular mass, molecular mass into volume of solution. So, volume of solution B by in liter, thousand. So, let it go upstairs. So, naturally, given mass, given mass into thousand divided by molecular, molecular mass into B. So, this is the molarity concept. Okay, now, this is the molarity concept, right? Now, let us go and identify this problem. What are the points it has given? Which one we have to find out from where can we get the point? Okay, now, this is a sucrose C12H22O11. Given mass, what it is? Given mass equal to? 3.42 gram. Okay, molecular mass. Molecular mass of C12H22O11. How much molecular mass? 342 gram per mole. Right? Got it? Okay, now. Let us go and identify. See, we, we got this one and as well as this one also. Now, let us go and identify what is the molarity of this solution. And the given volume of solution, how much? 100 centimeter cube. Okay, now, how do we apply the value? Now, let us apply the value easily. Molarity is equal to given mass by molecular mass. Directly, we can apply because this is so simple sum. Okay, 3.42 given mass by molecular mass of sucrose 342 into given solution, how much it is? 100 centimeter cube. Okay, and 1000, it is in liter, no? It is in 1000 on the top. So, you will get what it is? That this one and this one, it will be cancelled. That means 34.2 divided by 342. So, that means here 0 0.1 M. So, you have to bring the answer over here. Sucrose, that is C12H22O11 in 100 centimeter cube of that molarity. So, molarity only they are asking. So, molarity of, molarity of sucrose C12H22O11 in 100 centimeter cube. In 100 centimeter cube. Of the solution. Of the solution. Equal to 0 0.1. Yeah, this is the answer. So, you can provide in that way. First and foremost, you see the question. And just to bring whatever points they have given. From that, which one they are asking that question. So, you will calculate according to the formula. Wise. 
right okay now let us go for another one more question the next question related to that molality okay let us find out what do you mean by molality molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg so what is the difference between molarity and molality molarity means number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter whereas molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg okay now they are mentioning their units they are provided here kg in that molarity the units provided in liter so please remember that here they are mentioning the mass but they they are mentioning the solution that is what solution it has mentioned solvent plus solute but whereas here mass of solvent only it is remaining right okay please remember this that point okay now here let us see the related question calculate the molality of the solution containing 20.7 gram of potassium carbonate dissolved in 500 ml of solution assume the density of solution 1 gram per ml right they have given the density so density is equal to what it is mass by volume you please remember in that point okay now here the same point molality small m molality what is the symbol we are using small m so number of moles of solute divided by mass of this solvent in kg okay number of moles let us find out first one so number of moles number of moles so how to identify number of moles given mass by given mass by molecular mass right so given mass what it is given mass given mass of k2co3 potassium carbonate right so given mass it is 20.7 gram molecular mass molecular mass of k2co3 equal to 138 gram per mole you please remember molecular mass of potassium carbonate okay now let us apply the value here so here 20 0.7 divided by 138 so you will get 0 0.15 moles right now mass of this solvent i should mention density because they have given density so density is equal to density equal to mass by volume right Okay, so here mass of the solution, mass of the solution. So mass of the solution, what it is? Density and volume we can bring it. So 500 ml into what it is? Density how much? 1 gram per ml. So how much it is? 500 gram. Can we bring it? right okay now amount of the solvent we should bring amount why should i go because mass of the solvent they have mentioned no so amount amount of solvent we can take it water so here 500 gram minus here how much given mass 20.7 gram so naturally you will get 479.3 gram. Okay. Now this is what we can get it. Amount of water. Okay. Now let us go and identify the molality of the solution. Now molality of the solution. Molality of the solution is equal to number of moles number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent mass of solvent in grams into thousand i just mentioned
function in this way because we are applying like this. Okay, now let us apply all the values because we got all those values. Now some molality small m, yeah, please remember. Molality small m is equal to what it is? Number of moles, how much we got it? 0 0.15 divided by mass of solvent in grams. How much? 479.3 into 1000. Now what is the answer you are getting? Come on, let us check. Here, 0 0.313 gram per kg. Okay. Now, here kg, why do we mention mass of solvent in kg? So, here mass of salt given mass here on the top 1000. That is what here 1000 we put it. So, here kg. We just mentioned here kg. Okay. Hope you got a better idea about molality of the solution. Okay, now let us go and see some other related important boat type questions. Now let us see another question. 2.5 gram of ethanoic acid that is CH3COOH dissolve in 75 gram of benzene. Calculate the molality of the solution. See, note the point. Molality of the solution. Come on. Molality is equal to what it is? Number of moles. Number of moles of solute divided by mass of the solvent. Solvent in kg. Right? Okay, now number of moles we have to find out for the given mass by molecular mass we have to find out. Okay, given mass, given mass, given mass what it is? 2.5 gram. Okay, ethanoic acid molecular mass, ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. So, what is the molecular mass? 60 gram per mole. Okay, let us apply this value. So, here number of moles. Number of moles of CH3COOH that is ethanoic acid is equal to here what it is? 2.5 gram divided by 60 gram per mole right so you will get this and this will be cancelled so you will get what it is 0 0.0417 mole okay now number of moles you got it now you have to apply the what it is number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg so here molality small m is equal to 0 0.0417 divided by mass of solvent. What is that mass of solvent here they have provided? Dissolve in 75 gram of benzene. Okay, mass of solvent it is 75 gram. Here mole, here into 1000 as I mentioned there. Okay, so now what is the answer you are getting? 0 0.556 mole per kg. So otherwise you can mention here 0 0.556 molality small m. Okay, now this is the way you can bring the answer. All those units are very important. Okay, now let us go for another important question. And this also it's very important. Now let us identify normality equal to number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Okay, now we can write it in another way also. Here, yeah, normality equal to number of gram equivalent gram equivalent of solute solute divided by volume of solution 
सॉल्यूशन ये सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इनटू थाउजेंड राइट ओके नाउ लेट अस आईडेंटिफाई हाउ टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ ग्राम इक्वलेंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट सो नंबर ऑफ ग्राम इक्वलेंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट इक्वल टू गिवन मास लाइक नंबर ऑफ मोल्स लाइक ओनली नाउ गिवन मास गिवन मास ऑफ सॉल्यूट सॉल्यूट इन ग्राम्स डिवाइडेड बाय ग्राम इक्वलेंट मास ग्राम इक्वलेंट मास ओके नाउ ग्राम इक्वलेंट मास ऑफ एन एलिमेंट हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई ग्राम इक्वलेंट मास ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज इक्वल टू एटॉमिक मास एटॉमिक मास डिवाइडेड बाय वैलेंसी ओके नाउ लेट अस गो ऑन आइडेंटिफाई ईच एंड एवरीथिंग थ्रू द सम्स नाउ now another important point to be noted equivalent mass of an acid and equivalent mass of base okay now here equivalent mass of an acid is equal to molar mass by basicity now what do you mean by basicity of an acid number of replaceable hydrogen atoms present in one molecule of an acid now for example hcl How many hydrogen can be replaceable? One H plus ion and H two is so four. How many hydrogen can be replaceable? Two hydrogen and H H three PO four. How many hydrogen can be replaceable? Here H three. So that means three hydrogen. Now you can ask one more question. C H three C O O H. Here. How many hydrogen can be replaceable? I am telling here only one hydrogen. Why? Because CH three CO O minus H plus. Not the point. Hope you got an idea. So how many number of hydrogen ion can be replaced? Number of replaceable hydrogen atoms present in one molecule of an acid. Hope you got a better idea. What do you mean by basicity of acid? Okay, now the second point: equivalent mass of the base. Okay, equivalent mass of the base means molar mass by acidity. Okay, molar mass by acidity. Acidity of a base. Base only you now. Some acidity of a base means here number of OH minus ions produced per molecule of the base in a. Solution, please note the point. Aqueous solution. Now here, for example, NaOH. It's a base. How much OH minus ion can be replaceable? Only one. And BaOH twice. How many? How many OH minus ion can be replaceable? Here two. AlOH thrice. How much OH minus ions can be replaceable? Three. So now here molar mass by acidity. Suppose if they are asking base means molar mass by acidity. So what do you mean by acidity of the base? Number of OH minus ions produced per molecule of the base in aqueous solution. Okay. Hope you got a better idea. Please, if you want, you can take that screenshot. Now let us go and analyze related sums. Now let us identify the salt equivalent mass of the salt. Okay, now NaCl. How to calculate it? Molecular mass. Molecular mass by what it is? Salt. How many ions can be replaceable here? Plus and here minus. So here what it is? Fifty-eight divided by one. Now BaCl two. What is it equivalent mass? Equivalent mass of salt, right? So BaCl to here, what you will write it? Two not eight divided by here two. Here two plus right? 
So that is what. Now, Al2 SO4 thrice. So what is the uh, equivalent mass of this salt, aluminium sulfate? Here, 342 molecular mass, 342 divided by here 2 and here 3. So 6. So in that way, you have to calculate that equivalent mass of the salt. Hope you got a better idea about all these points. Please go through thoroughly. Now let us analyze this question. Calculate the normality of solution containing 31.5 gram of hydrated oxalic acid in 1250 ml of solution. Okay, now normality only we have to find out. So N equal to number of gram equivalent gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in centimeter cube into thousand. Okay, now let us go and apply all those points here. Number of gram equivalent gram equivalent of Salute. So, gram equivalent of salute, oxalic acid they have given. What is the molecular mass of oxalic acid? Oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. Molecular mass equal to 126 gram per mole. Right? Okay. Now, next one. How many hydrogen ions can be replaced? It is actually two ions. It is actually what it is. How many hydrogen ions? Like I, H plus ion. We can say hydrogen atom also. COOH. So here one and here one. So here 126 divided by 2. So you will get 63. So number of gram equivalent of solid 60. You have to find out. So number of gram equivalent of solid what it is given mass by what it is. Equivalent mass of that acid. Okay. So, equivalent mass of acid it is 63. Given mass how much they have provided? 31.5. So, 31.5 gram divided by here. Equivalent mass of the acid 63. How much you will get? 0.5. So, that is number of gram equivalent of solute. Okay, now volume of solution, volume of solution, they have given volume of solution how much? 1250 ml, 1250 ml, right? Okay, now we can apply the value here, how much we received in number of gram equivalent of solute? 0 0.5 divided by volume of solution, how much? 1250 into 1000. Right? We can apply all those values. So, you will get 0 0.4 and this is the normality of the solution. Units are very, very important. So, what is the unit for that normality? Gram equivalent 0 0.4 gram equivalent per liter. Right? So, this is the value. Hope you got a better idea about all these questions, molarity, normality, molality, all these points. Please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notification. Thanks for watching.